hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you how to make a vertical pallet garden that you can use on your in your balcony garden okay so let's get right into it please don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel hit the notification button and we'll get started as you can see today is a bit overcast we had rain last night so it's a bit on the colder side okay without any further ado we'll get started okay so i'm gonna start by taking the measurement of the back piece right here and getting the length that is going to be the base of each section of the garden So from the inside there to the outside we have four and three quarters so that's the piece I need and then the length is going to be 13 inches on this side and 13 and 5 eighths on this side. And you want to take the measurement of every piece separately just in case the pallet was not built square okay so I'm going to be cutting that now okay so the garden is going to be sloped so i'm going to show you how i cut the piece that is going to support it so that it can stand upright so here i have two pieces of board this is not very ideal to be using if you're going to be putting it on your balcony but as this is just for demonstrative purposes so i'm going to be using this piece of board you want to make sure that the base of the board is flat because this piece is going to be standing upright and so to get the measurement that you want I'm gonna turn the ugly side in so to get the measurement that you want you have to know what slope you want and as it is a balcony it may not be a big one so you don't want to take up too much of your space so you slope the board the pallet base some how steep you want it to be I don't want to be using up more than about 18 inches from the bottom of this edge down there to the bottom of the pallet on this side so after doing that you take your pencil and you mark on the inside along the top edge of the pallet and that mark is where you're going to be cutting your board So as you can see, I have my mark here, so I'm going to be duplicating this mark onto the other piece of board and I'm going to be cutting this. And then I'll show you how I fit everything together. Okay, so now that I've, uh, I've cut all the pieces for this, I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill some holes in it that is going to be the weeping hole. Oh, I guess I need to change my drill bit. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back.
six holes should be enough i'm not going to be using up my time to show you how to drill holes in all six pieces so i'm going to be attaching these now Okay guys, so I went ahead and did most of the things already. So I put on this support piece and put a cross piece on the bottom. I put in most of the bottom pieces already and this is the final piece I'm going to be putting in for you. I went ahead and pre-drill and countersink it. So here we go. And you just want to screw it until your screw becomes snug or when you start feel that tension on it Okay, so here we have it. We have the section down in here. You're going to be lining the inside here with some form of plastic. And how deep you make it depend on what you want to put plant in there. Because some plants require deeper sections to facilitate the roots of the plant if it sends deep root. And then down in this section, you want to put your plants that don't require a lot of sun because remember this is going to be on your balcony so you want to put the the plants that does not require a lot of sun down and then the ones that require more sun you put those to the top you would not be planting tomatoes in these because it's not deep enough and so for the garden you would be using rather than this you could just put a five gallon pail to the side and that five gallon pail now you could plant your tomatoes in and if you're going to be doing tomatoes i'd recommend that you don't plant the bushy tomato on your balcony because it's going to require a lot of space okay so i am going to be putting some plastic in here now and some soil And remember you have to pre-drill holes into the bottom of the bed because you want it to be able to drain out excess water and in addition to that because you might be living above someone else you don't want your water dripping down onto another person's balcony so what I'd recommend is you must know the width of your garden box and whatever the width of your garden box is you want to make sure that you put something underneath it that will catch the water in this case you can always get something like this a shoes tray and then you put it down and you rest the your box in it that way it will catch the water and you won't be disturbing your neighbors okay I won't be using this to demonstrate I'm just showing you I won't be put literally putting it there because it's a little bit too narrow so when you're building your box you want to make sure you have something 
wide enough to fit so, and that will determine how wide you build your garden box okay So let's go ahead now and finish this off by putting the plastic in there. I'd also recommend that you paint it because it is going to be on your balcony. And if you're having guests and they're using your balcony, you want your balcony to look really nice. You don't want to see something old and machated. So you want to paint it in whatever color you want. And yeah. Okay, let's get the plastic in. Okay so there you have it guys we have three layers and as you can see the inside has been lined with plastic uh, it's best however to use the landscape fabric as opposed to the plastic in here but as this is only for demonstrative purpose I don't want to spend the money just to buy something that I'm not going to be using in the future so yes you can use plastic because in my raised bed I use the construction garbage bags actually to line the beds and they work perfectly and I use my staple to staple it on this is not the best one to use you want the one that you hold the handle and press down as opposed to slapping it with this stapler for it to attach because it can be a bit cumbersome because of the space between here so you want to get the ones that you hold with your hand and press it down that's the stapler you need okay so I decided to line the outside face with plywood so that you just see one piece as opposed to several pieces. but of course you don't have to do that as long as you rip your pieces on your table saw and put them together they should fit neatly and you don't have to do this of course i recommend painting it for durability and another point on water in this garden or whatever garden you have on top of your balcony you can control how much water goes in here and in effect controlling how much water you have dripping out on the base of your balcony and down below and so in tomorrow's video I am going to be doing another garden box and shows how that work on top of your balcony railing so these pieces of palette that I have here going around there represents your balcony so there I have it representing your balcony and then I'm going to be making a box tomorrow that fits on top of here those you can get to purchase usually your balcony will be three and a half inches wide or five and a half inches wide which is usually a two by four or a two by six but the actual dimension is three and a half inches and five and a half inches so you can usually get these garden boxes that just fits on top of here and then you plant your vegetables or flowers whatever you want in it so I'll be making the box tomorrow in the video and then I will also be demonstrating over the course of the winter sorry over the course of the summer the progress of the garden so i'm going to be pl actually planting in them just for demonstrative purposes so stay tuned and i will see you tomorrow if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button and if there's anything that you would like to see me create or something relating to the plant, you can of course share it with me and I'll try to create that video for you. Thank you for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.